Hi everyone, welcome to Phoenix Furniture Studio. My name is Brenda and today we're going to be working on this Harris Levis three drawer chest of drawers. This is a vintage piece of furniture that dates back from around the 1960s. It was made in England and today we're going to give it a bit of a makeover. Now I've given it a good clean already with Dixie Belle's White Lightning and if you can tell from the drawers they are quite sticky so that's something that I'm going to need to deal with um, as part of this makeover. See that, that exact thing. I think probably the wood has swelled over time and so I might just need to sand down the sides a bit just to give it a bit of clearance between the frame and the drawers. Um, but now that I've given it a good clean, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the hardware. So I've just numbered this drawer with a one so I know that this is the first drawer to go back in and then I'll number this drawer two and this drawer three so I know which order they need to go back in. With this older furniture a lot of it was sort of made to fit so putting the drawers back in different places they might not fit properly so it's always best to number them so you know where they should go. This little Bosch drill is my favourite little tool for taking out hardware. It's just a great compact size for getting in to tight spaces and getting into the drawers. So if you're looking for something that makes quick work of removing hardware, definitely have a look at this. I don't know if this model is still made, but it's the IXO3, I think. So yeah, if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below. I've decided that I'm going to decoupage the front of the drawers and then paint the body of the um, drawers. So the decoupage paper I've chosen is this beautiful colourful African lady print. Uh, this is from a um, a shop here in the UK um, her name's Cindy and she does the most beautiful um, decoupage prints so I'm gonna pop that onto there now it is slightly too big for the drawers so I'm gonna have to lose a bit on the sides and again some of the top and the bottom but I still think it'll look really nice. In terms of the colours that I'm going to use to paint the draw body I think I'm probably going to try and pull these colours that are used around here. I'm not exactly 100% sure how I'm going to paint it, what sort of style, if it's going to be textured, one colour, haven't really got that far in the thought process but I know I want to use this. So I'm going to start by decoupaging this onto the drawers. Because this is quite a thick decoupage paper, I'm not going to be painting this with a layer of primer. Normally I would put down a layer of white primer on the furniture first because if you're using decoupage paper that's quite thin like a tissue based one, you want that white base to make the colours pop on the tissue paper. So in this case, I'm just going to put the PVA glue straight onto here. I've not sanded these down. Um, they've still got finish on them, so I'm not particularly worried about any bleed through coming through. 
So in this instance, I think it's going to be fine to put the PVA glue and then stick this straight down. So I'm going to use Mod Podge as my PVA adhesive. You could use any strong PVA glue. Um, not craft glue, that's not going to be strong enough, but any, close, any PVA glue would do. I don't want to apply it too thick because what's going to happen is when you put your paper down, it's going to cause a load of bubbles. So you want to get an even coat on there but not overly thick make sure you go up to all your edges as well Right, that's looking good. So now I'm going to pop that on. If your decoupage paper has something like eyes, make sure that those are not in between the drawer because that'll look weird so make sure when you're positioning it you position it so that the eyes are fully on a drawer or a cupboard or whatever it is just want to pull this over a bit Now. So now, I like how that's positioned, so I'm going to use this wallpaper smoother and just push out all those air bubbles that will be trapped in there. Now that I've pushed all those air bubbles out, I'm going to cut the excess paper off. When you're doing this, make sure that the blade that you're using is very sharp. Otherwise, it could pull and tear your paper like that. Thank you. 
So now I've got those three separated out. You can just make sure that they're glued down properly on all the edges. That the decoupage paper on the drawers has dried I'm going to take a very sharp craft knife just a blade like that would do and I'm going to trim all the edges so that there's no excess paper hanging over the edges I'm going to give everything a scuff sand with um, 120 grit sandpaper and then I'm going to give it a coat of primer. There is some bubbling over here where there may have been some water damage. Let me bring you in closer. So I don't know if you can see that there just some ever so slight bubbling of the veneer here. So we'll see what happens with that once I give it a good scuff sand. It may just be a case of sanding it down then filling it in with some filler because I've decided I am going to paint all of this. I've decided that I'm going to paint, oh hold on, hold on, fan heater, sorry, a little bit chilly in the workshop today. Um, so I've decided for the body of the piece, I'm going to paint it in just one colour, that's where I want to go, I think I want to frame out the decoupage drawers and see how I feel about it. So I'm start. I'm going to use this paint by vintage oh come on no don't focus on my face so it's vintage with grace mineral paint and the color is Delamere which is a lovely like deep forest green so I'm going to paint the outside of the body with that pop the drawers in 
and see how we go. To paint this piece, normally I'd spray it, but I've got something else in the spray tin at the moment. So I'm just going to use my Klingon S50 brush and a roller just to lay it off once I put that paint on. Let's get going!